trabajo defensivo, ¿eh? hay que ayudar más en la salida de esos bloqueos. No se puede dejar libre. tan libre al hombre, hay que intentar por pasa que vuelva a jugar con Alberto Herrero, línea de fondo. Qué jugada bien, de Alberto Herrero. Bien. bien ahora Alberto muy bien. Herrero. Muy difícil contra 5 y ser efectivos a ese nivel. Ahí está España en este 5 contra 5 que se resuelve con el triple que ha metido Herreros. El primer triple de España. Van ha decidido ahora dar entrada a Hansinat. Entrada por Mira, mira esto, mira esto, mira esto. Pero, opción, pero el golpe recibido pues ha, ha obligado al cambio por haber sido atendido. Ahora es, es la segunda vez que hace este movimiento. El Cristian fallando muchísimo. Falta precisión. A lo pasado canasta sí. de Herreros. Y Herreros que nos deleita de nuevo con una jugada. Una juega Alemania con Koch. El contraataque alemán. Uy, qué, qué lentitud. Por Dios, qué lentitud en bajar a defender este contraataque. He metido darle una asistencia a un hombre que ha salido posiblemente más tarde que... Dulperque se va, se echa hacia atrás para jugarse ese lanzamiento. 10 puntos para Nulberge. Y de esta forma concluyen los primeros 20 minutos del partido entre España. 37 a 35. Juega este primer balón España con el triple de Alberto Herreros. Frontal y limpio. Cosas bien. Puede marcar una distancia y eso obliga siempre a la llevada a jugar ligeramente a remolque. No es siempre más la primera parte. Vamos a ver el triple de Villacampa. Dentro, triple de Villacampa. El primero, nueve puntos. Para el escolta español, cinco. Por ejemplo, ahora Villacampa en buena posición. Pero Guerrero no se, se levanta ahora, ahora. Por fin. España ahora. llevaba varios ataques puntos de ventaja para el equipo español. Superar ese tope de los siete puntos. Estamos echando de menos los aciertos, los lanzamientos de tres puntos, que en otros partidos fueron muy importantes aquí, con buenas. Eh, Olimpia Jale de Múnich. Que tiene un aforo para 14.000 espectadores. Canasta de Well. Mucho provecho. Cuatro puntos en la misma jugada. Levante el brazo. Ahí lo levanta Villacampa para convertir limpiamente el triple. El tercero de Villacampa, como arriesgó 17 puntos para Villacampa. Ahí vemos la repetición jugada del triple convertido por Villacampa. Jugada defensiva de gran trascendencia para España. Falta de 2.30 si consigue. Con Villacampa, Villacampa que cinta para jugarse la penetración. Balón para Herrero, se juega el triple Herrero. Ahora dentro, sí. triple de Herrero. Ahora sí, Alberto Herrero yo creo que ha Balón para Nusperge, ahí está. Rafa y Ofresa. Se juega el triple Nuberge. Y quiere defender otra vez a ese hombre que va a intentar o él. O Jackel lanzar de tres. El Jackel de tres. Entra el triple de Jackel. Hay que estar atentos a esta le defiende. Hay que defender eso de nuevo. Morales entra. Empate. Tiempo muerto. 29 segundos para acabar rápido. Es España quien sirve, ahí está Rafa ya presta balón para Villacampa. Villacampa se levanta, el lanzamiento Villacampa no entra. El balón para Hardy, se acaba el partido. Prórroga. Se Prórroga. acaba el partido, prórroga aquí en el Olimpia Jale de Múnich. Prórroga, la verdad es que España ha jugado bien ese partido y de nuevo lo va a repetir ahora. Ahí está Antonio Martín con Harnis, penetra Harnis, el balón para Koch, el triple. Antes lo digo, que se metieran los dos tiros libres. Ahí va el lanzamiento en alta sombra, no ha entrado no. tampoco. No ha entrado el lanzamiento en alta sombra, ahora habrá que defender. Se acaba el partido, saca Christian Wells, se juega el lanzamiento dentro de tiempo. Dentro de tiempo. They're the starting five. Janakis, Sigalas, Galacatero. Nothing called. Nuremberger. Oh, yes, two more. Janakis brings it down. Nuremberger there to defend him. A little left hand swish into the basket for Janakis. Minutes of 59 seconds left in the first half. Four to two the score. Germany leading. Four fouls against Germany. One against Greece so far. There. Penetration down the... Baseline. Harnish. Harnish. Oh, it's a three-pointer from Harnish. The big forward center out on top of the moment. Christian Delu shoots over Bank and gets a big three-pointer. Oh, Christian Delu. Velt dwarfed his opponent there. Yes. Well, Harnish.
Grealish has it. Looking to work his way in. Oh, he changed his mind again. Oh, Velt got that. Two lovely points to Velt. Rodel. Yes, it's three. And that's another big three. Yakul. Yes. 13 minutes, 36 seconds to go. Cox shoots. Oh, he gets three. And that's a big, big three. Oh, and Harness makes his present felt, doesn't he? Oh, he got that in. Well, that was amazing. Well, all the Greeks saying, travelling. And they've got another chance. Yanakis for three. Oh! Oh, Yanakis. He's the captain. He leads by example. It's all attempting to create the spaces. Velp has it. Velp versus Vasoulis. Waited. Got it across to Harnish. Harnish has got the two in. He didn't get the foul call, but he got two points. ...by Vasoulis backing up Krista Delu. Lovely free piece of shooting there. And that's the way to do it. And Fenavoukas is putting the pressure on. It's 47 points all. Face Krista Delu. What a good defender he is as well. Oh, that's a big three again from Koch. Four of this German side. And now the margin beginning to extend. Let me say to you, it's still a long way to go with rebound there by uh, Kakiusis. Kakiusis. Nice play. Krista Delu. Oh, that was wonderful play. Three points to the Greeks. Mighty Yakel now into Hanish. Hanish defended by Yanakis. He's in. Oh, and that's two points. Left-handed, scooped it over the top. Wonderful play by Hanish. 68-58. Four minutes to go. And that is two points will go down to the Greek captain. Fast passing to create the space. Hanish is in. He's in. It won't count, I don't think. He's in this time. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. Didn't need to take it. So, oh, three points. And that's brought them back in. 29 seconds left. Germany, 74. Greece, 68. And that's 75. And surely that's it. Surely Germany on their way now to the final. He gets the second, 76 to 68. And Greece fighting back with 26 seconds left. Two points to Kakiusis. This signals the emergence of uh, German basketball. Seventh in the Olympic final. And now they find themselves in, well, not quite two seconds from the European final. <laughs> Coach Svenislav Pesic at last smiles, and there'll be Bedlam in here. There it is. And Germany have beaten Greece and go into the final of this European Championship to beat Russia 76 73. The score. It was a very, very hard fought match, and the Germans deserved it in the end. And how well their crowd may celebrate. They're the Welcome to Munich in Germany for the final of the 1993 Men's European Basketball Championships. Freeze. And they're the starting five. Sukarov, Bazarevich, Babkov, Mikhailov and Panov. Way. And Russia get the first touch and the first score. Sergei Babkov. Defense from the Russians. Here's Bazarevich on the break. Continues his dribble and floats it in. 4-2 to Russia. Out of his hands by Gunter Benka. And here goes Harnish on the break. And Germany take the lead. 5-4. Cut. Hands he can add. Kernberg, Nürnberger from three-point range. Oh my goodness me. Nürnberger's having a great game. Sh Coach Pesic just imploring the offense. Michael Koch hits from three-point range. Coming off the score from the Russians. Babkov pulls up for the three and nails it. That's superb fast break play from Russia. He's replaced Detlef Shrimp in this German lineup. And Henning Harnish hits the open jumper just in. Harnish a lot taller than Gorin. And Babkov goes inside and throws it down for an and one. The Here we go. It's Babkov. And Benk. Harnish the back door and a lovely floated pass, not quite an alley-oop, but... 
Babkov inside again. And the nice two from the jump shot from Bazarevic. Great interchange there between amazing nine point lead. The crowd still in disbelief. Babkov pulls up. Two seconds remaining. Gorin to Mikhailov. Mikhailov the long shot from his own half and misses on the buzzer. So a great performance from Germany. They're leading by three. And were it not for Sergei Pavkov, then Russia would be well in trouble. It's Michael Koch. Henning Harnish pulls up and hits the jumper. Very deceptive player, left handed. And here's Harnish, defended by Babkov. What a great matchup that is. Harnish finds Benka inside. Great couple of minutes from Gunter Benka. Look at this pass from Harnish. Draws three players. Finds Benka and wham. No give and go there. Bazarevich goes inside and the simple layup. Just as I was praising Germany's defense. Clear out. Harnish against Babkov. And finds Velp inside and Velp is fouled. And that's goaltending, I think. That's got to be goaltending. Ball was on the way down. For Russia. Nice pass along the baseline. Babkov inside. He's so strong. Love the second half. Henrik Rodel declined to take the three. Harnish did as well, but went inside and hit the jumper. Germany by two. Out there. And hands off to Babkov instead. That's a full shot from Babkov, but good following from Mikhailov. Mikhailov inside. Good defense, but Babkov. Gets the two and asks the referee for the foul as well. It has to be content with just two points. Henrik Rodel is splitting here in Munich and a steal. No goaltending, but Harnish follows up and the little baby hook takes Germany into a two point lead. Babkov goes baseline, easily goes past Rodel and Bazarevich misses the jumper and here goes Germany on the break and it's. Michael Jackal on the end of the break. Great recognition. Well, the crowd, the crowd, you can, you can just sense the tension in the crowd. How did Bazarevich get that in? <laughs> Bazarevich there was fouled through the shot up. Here we go. Thought about it. And Michael Jackal fouled him. Two points to back. Trying to rescue the situation now for Germany. He goes inside as well. He's fouled. And he gets an and one as well. Well, it's just as Nuremberger. Nuremberger goes inside again. Oh my goodness me, Kai Nuremberger. What a play. Penetrates and ties the scores up. The most unexpected of heroes for Germany. Lays the ball up and we are tied again. That's the European Championships. Arnish goes inside, gets his shot blocked, but he's fouled. Betizov defending against Harnish, but Mikhailov came across and it was the number 11's foul. Betizov can't believe that's been called a foul. It was when Mikhailov came across. The help. The rebound just in case. Babkov hits the second. Russia lead by two, 70 68. The ball is in the hands of Kai Nuremberger, defended by Bazarevich. 10 seconds. Nuremberger has penetrated twice, he goes inside, finds Velp, who dunks it, and there's a foul! Three seconds remaining, it's tied at 60 apiece. Christian Velp has one foul shot to come. He was fouled in the act of dunking. Great pass here from Nuremberger, finds Velp inside, and Mikhailov fouls. How cool is Christian Bell? Very cool, 71-70. The Russians get the ball in quickly, going, flies up the three, and Germany are the 1993 European champions. They cannot believe it in Munich. Kai Nürnberger celebrates, Henning Harney celebrates with the fans. 71-70. Germany have beaten the overwhelming favourites, Russia, by one point. And that one point was gained on the line by Christian Bell with three seconds remaining. Nuremberger, what a game he had! Die Entscheidung eines Basketball-Krimis. Chris Welp fängt den Rebound.
Kai Nürnberger trägt den Ball nach vorne. Und findet Welp. 2, die auch im Finale die Hauptakteure sein werden, werfen Deutschland ins Halbfinale. Chris Welp, den Pesic schon rausgeschmissen hatte und der nur mitspielen durfte, weil das Team es so wollte.